Welcome back to another day in the Eljazz era. I'm your host of the most bows, Taylor Eljazz. You doing good? I'm doing pretty good. But are you doing good though? I do pretty good. So today we're in Brick Wall Street, and I'm gonna ask a bunch of people: Is Gucci really canceled? Hit that theme music. My brother said one day we'll be on. We're back in Brick 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 Wall Street, and I'm joined by Luke, Genevieve, Jerry Simon, Christina, Christina Million. Aguilera, whatever. Christina, you like? Christina Lou. Christina. Lou. Oh, you getting with the whole government. I like that. I like that. Martin. And Jay. Martin, and Jay, MJ, Michael Jordan. So, you guys ready for the first question? Yep. <laughs> I guess so. Yes. That doesn't sound like you're really ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Question is, you have a closet, I assume. And inside that closet, you have clothes. In those clothes, is there an item of Gucci clothing? No. No. Not at all. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. No. No, I don't have an item of Gucci clothing. Yes. Yes, I have some Gucci slippers. Some Gucci flip-flops? Gucci flip-flops. Flip-flops or flip-flops? Uh, flip-flops. <laughs> flip-flops. Uh, I have a pair of loafers. I've got a Gucci t-shirt and a belt. Never owned a piece of Gucci in your lives. Why is that? I've never sold the appeal. I never sold the appeal. I wasn't interested. I'm not a big fan of it, personally. Why is that? I think, um, I like to wear what's comfortable, and I think Gucci represents a certain, like, it's too much associated with a certain class, and I don't like that. I like to wear whatever I want. What class do you think Gucci is represented by? The ultra elite. You bump a t-shirt when you wear those? <laughs> yes, yeah, sadly. Sadly, I bump all types of music when I when I have. I ain't asked you all that. All right, so have you heard about the very popular sweater that has came out by Gucci recently? No, I have not. Yes, I seen it on the internet. Oh yeah, the blackface. Absolutely. Is that the one that uh, has got the 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 red around the mouth sort of stuff? It may be, maybe. Have you heard about it? I uh, he told me about it the other night. So I would like your honest opinion on this sweater. Ridiculous. I started laughing to be honest. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> it looks terrible. It looks racist. What's racist about it? It's just the connotations of blackface. I mean, you know, it just portrays the blackface of, um, you know, how cartoons were portrayed back in the days. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of got the, uh, uh, you know, the old sort of style drawings that, that were done back in like Jim Crow days. Oh yes, 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 bringing back the history books on them. As soon as I saw it, I already knew what they were trying to do, so I just started laughing. I was just like, wow. Again, because I know it happened with Montclair as well, with that whole blackface uh, bubble jacket that they had. The blackface bubble jacket, why don't you go ahead and remind me of that? It was like, it was a Montclair all black bubble jacket. It had the little blackface right here in the, in the middle, and then in the inside it had blackface all over. Would you cop? Pardon? No, I would not cop that Gucci sweater at all. That is, I would, no, mm -mm. No, definitely. Why not? It's not very appealing. No. No, definitely not. What's not appealing about it? <laughs> Looks like a mask. What kind of mask? I have no idea. Would you cop the female wearing the sweater? <laughs> Sorry, I'm on you about my black woman, you know. Oh, black ladies, hit me up. Somebody actually made a mock version of the sweater. Are you ready for it? Let me get your honest opinions on this sweater. I think that one looks a lot better. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I love it. See, I'm feeling the girl. The girl I'm feeling. That's not what I asked you. Uh oh, uh, are you talking about the sweater? Yeah, I seen that one. I just started laughing as well. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not right, but at the same time, I kind of see the clap back. So it was just like, if you're trying to make other people feel a way by doing that, then it's just like, all right, well, you need to see that you made us feel some type of way. So if you're trying to get that message and come across it like that, then I don't really care. Yo, the sweater, I'm weak. Yo, the list is mad small. Nah, that's that. See, exactly. This is, this is the opposite of what that the Gucci sweater was. Clearly. It's less, um, it pops a little less. That's a little bit more acceptable. And you can kind of fo you can fi fold the top part down so it'll look like a normal sweater, I hope. I, we understand the clapback. And at, at the same time, it kind of feels like 
you deserve the clap back <laughs> because you you actually put it in like I said it's very obnoxious in front of your face like yeah we can do this because we can so here yeah, that that's the response to that but at the end of the day neither party is going to be correct in doing what they're doing so as long as it's against the whiteies it's all good would you buy this one <laughs> um probably not <laughs> but it's no I, no I wouldn't be buying it but it's funny yeah I would cop that one, yeah. Cause since they made the first one, you know, it's beef now, so, you know, <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> What's beef? No biggie. Maybe. Yeah, just to be an asshole. <laughs> to be honest, I got a fucking, I got a, I got a actually a KKK shirt that says, um, that fucking says. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm loving it. And it shows a dead KKK member with three bullet holes through his chest. Yeah. So, ba da ba ba ba. Do you think the lips are an accurate size? <laughs> I think the top lip could be a little smaller, you know. That sounds quite racist. <laughs> the Gucci sweater was racist. So you're saying eye for an eye? I'm not saying eye for an eye. Eye for an eye makes the whole word blind, sir. <laughs> hey. So what if I told you that Gucci did this all on purpose just to get buzz around their brand? Do you think that'd be smart? Yes or no, because there's no good thing as bad publicity. Because at the end of the day, look at what Nike did with the Kaepernick campaign. I mean, they backed Kaepernick up knowing that they were going to get the money from black people. And they did, they made over, I think, around like four or five million after that. No, because celebrities and other people were still wearing Gucci, you know. Um, Gucci was like something that a lot of people wear and it was like a, a like a kind of was like a, a cool thing to wear i mean it is still a cool thing to wear but despite what happened i just felt like they could have went about it a different way terrible idea uh yeah not a good idea it's a great marketing choice that's just kind of a reoccurring trend that's going around in social media and even just media in general uh, a lot of people will do whatever it takes to get attention and as long as there's attention that's being you know accumulated and people are talking about it and as he said there's no such thing as bad publicity to them so they'll even smear their own name a little bit because they know they can recuperate on the profit and then they'll probably you know do something that says I'm sorry or they're gonna honor somebody just try to you know recuperate a little bit of their face and then it's gonna be like nothing ever happened they're just gonna overlook it do you think that there should be consequences for Gucci releasing some type of sweater like this I'm not sure. I don't think so. They can they can release whatever they want. They're a fashion company. <laughs> they can release whatever they want. They are a fashion company. I will hope that people will stop buying the clothes so they can lose money and then obviously little by little they'll start losing money because they're not selling anything and they will go out of business. That's what I hope will happen. But, you know, learning from what Tommy Hilfinger had did when he said my clothes are not for black people and we still have black people to this day buying Tommy Hilfinger so it kind of you can't really talk shit if you're going to still support it at the end of the day, you feel me? Definitely need to like work out a way to apologize for it. They got to do something in order for me to start purchasing. But first of all, I can't even really purchase Gucci because, you know, I mean, I don't really got money to spend like that. So, like I said, the Gucci flip flops was just a gift. So, uh, so it sounds like they're not even really targeting you because you can't afford it. Sadly, once something like this transpires, you know, being conscious of it, I, I can't continue to entertain it. So I will literally stop buying brands. You know, like when I found out that Michael Kors said that they didn't intend for any black people to buy their products, nobody gets Michael Kors from me ever. I don't buy them as gifts, and I don't buy them for myself. Not not lotion, nothing, nothing. And we honestly need to support more black businesses. And it, and you know, it may it may be a little bit more money in the beginning, but it's worth the investment. Like we are worth the investment. So I'm really done with supporting and forgiving and forgetting. I'm just I'm just gonna go where I'm welcome and where I'm actually supported as a person. Is Gucci canceled and if so for how long? Gucci is canceled until until forever. Are you gonna be burning your Gucci clothing? I won't be burning it, but I won't be wearing it until I see how this all plays out. So since you have these black Gucci flip-flops and they're canceled until forever, whatever time span that actually means, are you going to burn them? Um, no, but I would, you know, sounds like you're not down for the cause. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, see, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't burn the clothes. I would just give it to, like, homeless people. I would try to, like, devalue the brand as much as possible. Because if you see something, instead of burning it, that's not really going to, because somebody bought it. You know, the money's going to be, wait, they're still making money. But if they, you know, you give it, I'm not trying to say, like, you know. You sound very long-winded. I'm asking about you specifically. Oh. Are you going to burn your Gucci flip-flops when you get off this interview? 
Sounds like a no to me. If I have to lotion my skin, I'm going to Bath and Body Works. So how long do you think you have to wait before you can pull out those loafers once again? Um, well, at least until it gets warmer and hopefully they say something about it soon. So do you think if they hired 100 black people, it would make this much better? No, I don't think that's the the way to address it. It's just need to work out why why they actually did this and, and then work out where, you know, who was approving it and, and where it all fell down and then, um, I don't know, work out with the right groups on, on what they need to do next. So, I'm going to say that I did notice something. You know, around last year, kind of around the same time, we had H&M come out with their coolest monkey in the jungle campaign. Do you believe yourself to be the coolest monkey in the jungle? Cool as mon- Do I look Please, sir, to sir, you? sir, 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 sir. Stop touching the microphone. I couldn't help but notice that you have an H&M jacket on right now. So, what do you think was worse? Black face sweater or coolest monkey in the jungle? Both of them are terrible. What? That's not what I asked you. Call a monkey, and I don't want to. And also, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to have wear something that portrays, you know, black people in a negative light. None of them are okay at the end of the day. But I also used to work for H and M before I left the company. So this is free. Yeah. So I do still have a lot of clothes, honestly. Most of my wardrobe is, um, nah. I would say a good amount is H and M. I don't agree with any of them. At the end of the day, they're both wrong. As far as the message they were trying to put out, whether it was intentional, non-intentional, for publicity, not for publicity, it's just wrong. Point blank, period. I don't agree with it at all. Do you believe yourself to be the coolest monkey in the jungle? No. I'm the so why is your whole wardrobe H&M? Because prior to that, I was... See, I didn't know. See, this is what H&M... Sir, is. sir, this is stop touching H&M your microphone. Is. The prices are cheap and affordable, right? So I bought it. I was in high school. I, well, the thing happened, like, how many years? Like, a year ago, right? Also, right? It was last year. Yeah, it happened last year. But before that, I was, you know, buying H&M. It wasn't like... I didn't know, like, this was going to happen. But since it happened, um, I feel like I, I've been spending more le- on less on um, H&M. I've, I mostly stop at, like, other places instead. So we're burning Gucci, but we're not burning H&M. I mean... Do you have any final words for all the Gucci purchasers and the Gucci people at Gucci? I just, I just want people to stop playing games and stop acting like you don't know what you're doing. Stop acting like this is not a conversation that's being had continuously for whatever reason. You know, we're, we're, we're grown. We're adults. If, especially if you're older than me. If you're doing things and you have education that's available to you at, you know, at a moment's notice, there's no reason for you to be acting like you don't know what I'm talking about or you don't know that you're wrong. So I just want people to stop playing games. This ain't no damn Monopoly. Do yourself. I mean, if you like it, buy it. <laughs> I think they need to work out where they went wrong and who was the approval process. Um, I think they should be looking at who their creative director is um, and holding them accountable for it. Um, I don't know if an apology is going to do it. I think some people's neck should be in a line in terms of, you know, some firing. But I, I think we'll have to see how this plays out. Fire the whole damn staff. <laughs> Apologize for all the negativity and all the free promotion that you did off black people and um i just felt like you guys could have came about it a different way that whole sweater thing was not a, i mean you could have used a different color you know there's different colors you know using that color just you know it's just not right and i just feel like you know this is a lesson that everybody can learn off you know not to capitalize of black people or don't think like you know you could gain uh, engagement by you know posting something controversial. You know that's not the way to go about it. <sighs> Fix your shit. Don't do it again. Get your bother builder on, and you need to start fixing some stuff. I want to thank Mr. Black Jerry Seinfeld, aka Vivid J, it's Vivid for joining J. me. Oh yes. I'm L Jazz. Hey, watch L Jazz on the street. My brother said one day we'll be on. My brother said one day we'll be on. Till that day I'm toasting up and I'm gone. Till that day I'm toasting up and I'm gone. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure where was she on.